everyone. A belated Happy New Year to you. You are watching a live stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me. I'm Johnny Chiodini. I'm still here, everybody. It's 2024. Let's get to it. How are you all? I hope your year is going very, very well so far. Um, mine's going all right, actually. Uh, I feel, I, honest to God, I feel rested for the first time in a long time, which is nice. So, um, although I'm about to yawn. No, I kept it in, vaguely. All right, um, but yeah, hi. It's very, very nice to see you all again. I mean, I can't see any of you, but you know what I mean. It's nice to be here and be streaming again. Um, ooh, Cat M's done a super chat. Oh yeah, there was a super chat before I started. Two, in fact. Uh, Davy Jones did a super sticker of the <laughs> the lemon person giving a present to the lime child. If if somehow you're, you're new to this channel, I'll explain more in detail at some other juncture, I am sure. Um, Matthew Kay has done a super chat saying, can't be here live, just wanted to say I've been looking at this game for a bit, so it's nice to have a Johnny in the minds, thanks for being you, thank you very much Matthew, I hope you're watching this on VOD. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing Delta V Rings of Saturn today, which is kind of, it's a space mining game that controls a bit like the space train from Sunless Skies, but I'm told has a bit of a hard space shipbreaker vibe, which is so far up my street, uh, I think it's in my kitchen. I honestly cannot wait to, to dive into this. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, Cat M has done a super chat saying, Random fact for the new year, the first dogs were domesticated around 27,000 to 40,000 years ago. The oldest dog breeds, breeds and those similar to those first dogs are the Greenland sled dog, 9,500 years, and greyhounds, 8,000 years. Huh. I was bracing for a pun there. I was waiting to have my legs taken out from under me. But that is just genuinely very interesting. And indeed, a random fact. I bloody love greyhounds. They're brilliant. Um, my friend has an ex-racing greyhound. And I love him so much. Ducks piloting a mech xenomorph. Ugh, has done a super chat saying, Happy New Year, Johnny. Hope you're well. Uh, Aiden has done a super sticker of a Shiba Inu standing on its hind legs and going, Hiya! Which is very nice. Thank you, Aiden. And Wraith Fines has done a super chat saying, Hi, Johnny. I got my Skelly Pal Nap Club shirt on Christmas and promptly fell asleep watching a stream. It works. Yes, there we go. Amazing stuff. Right. That's the that's the, the normal business out of the way. That's the housekeeping. Let's go mining in space. Uh, I've put myself... Cat M says, no pun, not good at them. You don't need to be good at them. I just thought there was going to be... I, I just... Anytime there's a, a super chat that's got a lot of facts in it or details, I'm like... Someone's trying to trying to hoodwink me there. Thank you for giving me an honest to goodness fact. Right. So I've put myself here on it's sort of this corner of the screen because as far as I'm aware, the sides of both sides of the screen are like off limits in terms of having a, 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 a dingus sort of just sat there because there's quite a lot of detail that's in this game. Whether I'll be any good at this game is another matter. So anyway, this is uh, Delta 5. Um, and we are going to go mine in space. Spice! Uh, which will be nice. Oh, bloody hell. Eto Brink has done a big old super chat saying, Johnny, oh, how I missed you. I was working the time you streamed last. I'm glad to see you rested and well. Happy New Year and all hail the blood pair. Um, yeah, it's nice to be back, Eto. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you very much for the super chat. That's very kind. I'm glad you can catch this one live. All right, let's do this thing. company blames pirates but why would anyone resort to piracy there is no money to be made there no glory only fear and ultimately death why would you choose that life good question and why doesn't the company just blow them all up with an orbital strike don't tell me they don't know where they're hiding with that array of telescopes. Can you have subtitles? No, I just... Whoops. Okay, hold on. Settings. Accessibility. Uh, music visual cues, no. Settings. Ambient sounds. Controls. Details. I'm not seeing subtitles anywhere, which is unusual. Ooh, Mini Ha Ha Sybil says, I'm getting Expanse meets Cowboy Bebop vibes. And Aiden says, it's very Expanse, yes. Urgh. 
Sarah, yes. Amazing. Good. I fucking love The Expanse. I haven't actually seen the show, but I've read all the books and they're amazing. Uh, I don't see subtitles anywhere, unfortunately. I'm very sorry. Naturally, I would turn them on if I could, but I can't. What I will do is exit to the main menu and start again so we can watch that um, cutscene a second time. Um, yeah, sorry to anyone who, who would like uh, subtitles. I, I wish they were in this game but they uh, currently aren't. Uh, 626 Games has done a super chat, but there is no message attached. Um, uh, if that's uh, an accident, don't super chat again, 626 Games. Just just type normally in chat and I will read it out with all the due fanfare. Right, let's have a cutscene again. You have to question everything. Why do people go missing in the rings? The company blames pirates. But why would anyone resort to piracy? There is no money to be made there. No glory. Only fear and, ultimately, death. Why would you choose that life? And why doesn't the company just blow them all up with an orbital strike? Don't tell me they don't know where they're hiding, with that array of telescopes watching everything. I'm in. I'm already in. Fantastic. Uh, 626 Games did a super chat saying, just a late Christmas present to my favourite streamer. Love you and Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. That's very kind. Um, da -da 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 -da. Drew Worth says, Sp Space Americana is the best musical genre and I will not accept arguments to the contrary. Right, so. This is us, I think. Yes, this seems to be... Oh, bloody hell. This is Enceladus Prime... To, oh, there's there's nowhere I can put my face that isn't in the way of something. I'll try it here. This is Enceladus Prime to MRS-6270 hedonistic vessel. Your mining license doesn't check out. Hold your ship for remote inspection. Hopefully this will be a tutorial, because right now I am... I was about to say I'm all at sea, but I'm not. Okay. I'm Just while I'm paused, I'm going to read this stuff. Things around your ship. Blue equals moving closer, red equals moving away. Oh, this will be the infrared lidar. Blips equals shiny goods, ships, man-made transponders, legit ships. No transponder equals pirate, run. Don't start fights. Stay below 50 me uh, uh, meters per second. Don't rush her, she is no race ship. She's just a spaceship. Good, all right. Um, Null and Void says, oh no, I missed the start of a Johnny stream because I was watching a Johnny video. Oh no, Johnnyception, I'm sorry. Um, Pietro P is on a super chat saying, Happy New Year, Johnny. My 2024 can, so far, can go in the bin. Oh, no. Hopefully a dollop of my favourite parasocial social interaction will take my mind off things for a while. Um, I'm sorry that your, uh, your 2024 so far can get in the bin, but there is a lot of year left, so hopefully you're getting the shit stuff out of the way and you can start looking forward to better days very, very soon. Uh, Corio Malayam says the new year is off to a hopeful start. There you go. I may be getting a new job, which pays enough I could afford to live in my own place without flatmates. Moving sucks, but it feels worth the effort for this. Absolutely. Like, I've, I've said, um, I've said before, like, uh, moving is one of the most stressful things I think a person can do, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone, uh, but the difference when you move into a place that's entirely under your control is pretty huge. So, um, I hope things work out, Corio. Um, Fingers crossed about the new job. 
Um, the pool is abstract. It's on Super Chat saying there's a Space Cowboy TTRPG called Orbital Blues that I am even more desperate to play after these sick tunes. I don't know. There have got to be some killer playlists for this, right? On uh, Online. Okay, here we go. When I was on break... Bleh, shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, I do have a railgun, it looks like. Hold your ship for inspection. How do I just hold my ship? Drew Worth says, is anyone else, like, unreasonably excited about Star Trucker? Yes. I can't wait for Star Trucker. Okay. I'm, so far, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's that's the front of the ship. Got it. Hold your ship for remote inspection. Is there a way to break? Huh. Is anyone... <laughs> oh, you press X. Like the prompt said. Okay. Seems that you are late for your periodic inspection of the hedonistic vessel. Hedonistic vessel is what I call my redacted, etc, etc. I can set you up for temporary permission remotely. Uh, first, let's check your autopilot orientation sensors. Orient your ship to zero degrees and hold that heading. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, you can zoom in and out. Why isn't it letting me... It's not letting me left click. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, you have to... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Good, now set orientation to 90 degrees and hold that. I was holding that in the first place? 90 degree. 90. Bad. That seems to be in working order. Now to your velocity set sensors. Accelerate to 20 meters per second into the ring. I don't feel qualified to be flying this ship so far. I have to say that much. But we'll see. Um, Rob Lambert has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny and LSPs, Happy New Year. I discovered Accenture goodness and it's helping me through a bad OCD bout and got me reading and writing again. Thank you. I'm really, really glad that um, you're reading and writing again. I'm sorry to hear about the OCD bout. Ooh! Towards the station and edge of the ring. Where the fuck is the station and the edge of the ring? Five meters per second. I'm going too fast. Oh. Okay, that's five meters per second. Oh, that, you can, oh, you can brake and accelerate like that. Oh, I see. Oh, God. I don't, I don't want to control myself solely with the mouse. Give me a moment to fill this out. I'll get right back to you. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, the Oxventures sort of um, help things out and that you're uh, reading and writing again. I was unable to, to get any reading done for like the last half of last year and I had to take a little break and now I'm reading a book again, which is very, very nice. Uh, Rob Lamont says, thank you. My favourite so far has been Gio... Ah, Geotermal the Dragon in Legacy of Dragons. Good. Um... Yanos 606 is on Super Chat saying, Afternoon all, I'll be heading down to the VOD dungeon, but before I do, can I please get a shout out for my birthday? Please and thank you, much love, Johnny and Skellies. Absolutely. Oh, there was a smiling emoji, a pumpkin emoji, a like tada emoji, and then a skull emoji. Yanos, a very happy birthday to you. Um, I promise you, once I work out how to mine, the first payload will be in your name. Okay. Cargo hold. Inside your bathe. Things can fall out. Burn forward to settle. Okay. Uh, things in red, I'm looking. I'm still looking around the HUD. Things in red are broken. Glowing means active. Outline is your remass. Little gauge is capacitor. Watch reactor heat. Burn thrusts to cool down. Oh yeah, look at me, I'm, bur I'm cooling down. Okay, hedonistic vessel, it's time to check your mining equipment. Hold your position. Holding position. Eventually. Okay, this is starting to make a bit more sense. Let's check your excavator. Open it up. So that's middle mouse. Or oh, I can hit enter. I'll hit enter. 
I detect an ore nugget nearby. Target locking you. Fly slowly towards it with your excavator open. Okay. I think my excavator's open. If it isn't, uh-oh. Mmm, that does not feel like an open excavator. There we go, that's how you do it. Oh, oh, you have to hold it down. Alright, maybe I will use the middle mouse button. Please bear with me, everyone, I'm sorry. It's my first time mining in space, would you believe? We got it! Checking calibration of... Uh! Autopilot target lock. Target one of the ice lock rocks floating around. Good, hold your relative velocity to that rock. I need to scan the area. Okay. We're clear of any ships. You're authorized to fire your mass driver. Well, that sounds like fun. Spice! Okay. Yeah. We need to check target, blah, blah, blah. Lock on something small and shiny. Oh, you can just lock on and it'll auto-pilot you around. That's fantastic. Uh, what else is something small and shiny? Yum, 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 yum. Match velocity to that nugget. I don't know what the target velocity is. Damn it! Seven meters a second. Well, that's I'm going too fast. Okay, we're done with this part. La, 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 la. You might want to use this time to mine. You're damn right I do. Eat that! Okay, oh shit, and then break, and then break. Do we want to eat that? What is it? How can I tell? Okay. How can I tell if it's worth eating? Let's, you know what, let's just eat first and ask questions later. Uh-oh, can we eat that? Is it too big? It's not too big, all right. Fucking hell, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Oof, time to check your manual controls. First, stop ship using autopilot. Okay. Okay, your autopilot seems to be in working order. Now manual control. I've been doing manual control this whole time! Maybe that's why I was struggling. Well, now I know how to do manual, but I don't know how to do automatic. Hmm... Michael Warman says 7 meters a second sounds very slow for space, doesn't it? The ISS is doing 8,000 meters a second. Holy shit. Wow. Hmm. Felicia Salina has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, just a small thank you. I've been home for the past month due to a burnout. Rewatching some of your videos have really helped with all the stress and anxiety. I'm so sorry to hear about the burnout, Felicia. I'm, I'm glad that you've had somewhere to go home, well, to go to, to, to rest up. Um, and I'm really glad that the... Um, the videos have helped with some of the stress and anxiety. I'm, I'm sorry that there is stress and anxiety. Like, uh, burnout is really, really horrible, and it happens to people all too easily. I fear. Um, so yeah, uh, lots of love to you. I hope things improve very, very soon, and I'm glad to have been a help uh, in whatever way. Uh, Goblin is on a super chat saying, got my first ever paycheck in the holiday, so I have some money to say thanks for all the support I've got from you, Oxfanchet, and the Skelly Pals over the years. Usually loyal to Vod Squad, but glad to catch most of this live. I promise you I won't tell VOD Squad. There's absolutely no way they'll be able to tell that you watched this live. It's fine. Your secret's safe with me and the other 240 people watching right now. Um, Stefan MD has done a super chat saying, Happy New Year to the only YouTube streamer I managed to follow live. Sick today, but that means I get to catch a live stream. Seems to be a recurring theme. Uh, love the AW pack, pack stream. Oh, Alan Wake pack stream, but I uh, still hope your patrons will vote for Ragnarok at some point. Boy, I imagine they will. They probably will. It will happen. Um, sorry, I'm going to take my jumper off because uh, I'm a little bit warm. Um, give me one sec. I promise you I'll learn how to be a competent miner someday. That's what I said all the way through primary school, etc, etc. Ha ha ha. Wordplay. Corvus Albright's done a super chat saying, First haiku of 2024 20, for first haiku of 2024 time. Busy year ahead. Good to see your streams are back. Best wishes to you. Thank you very much, Corvus. Best wishes to you as well. Um, happy New Year to you. It feels weird to be back at work, but also nice to be back at work. Well, uh, this is all delightful. Now the main torch. Shift. Yeah. I know how to use that. I've been using that already. 
Re-engage autopilot and come to a full stop. Oh. Right, yeah, autopilot. Autopilot's handy, look at that. Final point, bring up your onboard maintenance system. While you're here, you might want to familiarise yourself with the current astrogation interface. There may have been updates since you were licensed. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Check other consoles. Turn things on and off. Slide to transfer power. Don't take power from broken things. Understood. Insured for 100,000 e-bucks. Oh, good profits. Blah, blah, blah. Watch yourselves rings for a dangerous place. And sell it us out. Reply well, okay. I really wish I was paying attention to what they said in the previous screen. I was looking at this too much. Okay. I do not feel ready. At all. But that's okay. What are you? What is it? How can we work out what it is? Oh no, all of my things are leaving my cargo hold. Not if I can help it. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. What are you? Let's go eat that. Bloody hell. Go on, go eat it. Eat it. Achievement unlocked. Diving license. Get through the tutorial. I mean, I did, but it feels like only just. Where did my shiny rock go? Oh, friends. Oh, good lord. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, Freya has done... Ah, it's our... F Stop the clocks, everyone. It's our first blood pair of 2024. Um. F oh, fuck you. Okay. Oh, Christ. Right. Okay. And then is there anything I can actually eat off that? No, I just destroyed a rock for no good reason. Oh, it looks like there's something on the radar up there. Let's go up there. Oh, you can just click on places to go. What are you? What's that? Is that some sort of beacon? It looks like a distress beacon or something. Um, so Freya has summoned the blood pair. What's the blood pair? Well, basically, imagine a pair. You know, the piece of fruit. We've all seen them. Um, it's, it's one of those, but this one's got arms and legs and a face. And it moves. Let's scoop this up. Hello. Oh, we can't scoop you up? Oh, dear. This is going badly. What are you? Literally anyone who's played this game, can you tell me what's happening? Should we shoot it? We shoot it. We probably should. Ow. Okay, well we just took a we just took a rock to the side of the head. Oh, this game's quite a lot. This game is quite a lot. More fool me for not playing a lot of it before we streamed. Hey. Okay, we're fine. I've still not finished describing the blood pair. Imagine. Imagine a pear. Now it's got arms and legs and a face. Now it's got a mug, like this one, and it keeps showing it to the screen repeatedly. Now imagine it's full of a viscous, viscous red fluid that might well be blood. That's what we're, um, that's what we're talking about right now. Freya summoned it. That's the first one of 2024. I suppose we should keep a running tally, shouldn't we? Somewhere in this room, I've got one of those clickers. Oh, do I want to keep a running tally? That's just gonna. That's just gonna. That's just going to encourage more of them. Alex Simkin, meanwhile, has summoned the yellow... Uh, the, the lemon person and the lime child. What are those? Okay. I'm not I'm not finished with this thing, actually. We're going to go get it. We're going to go catch it up. I do not know what I'm doing. Oh, shit. But what I am doing... I'm doing it all very fast. Oh, shit. What's that? Hello. Are you friendly? Is that a torpedo? Are you a pirate? That's a... That's some sort of... Everything's leaving my cargo hold again. Fuck! 
Oh. This might be too much for the first stream of the year. I'm not going to lie. I'm not I'm not going to lie. This this looks great and I think once I get the hang of it, it's going to be fantastic. But right now, it's a lot. Like a lot. So let me just... I'm just going to go... Hang on. Good Lord. Maybe Hades then, says Neko the Kitty. You're always so quick to, quick to jump on... Uh, quick to jump on the old... Hades wagon. You're fine. I've got very fast internet. So I'm going to download the game I nearly installed for this stream. Oof. Bloody hell. That was too much. Sega Genesis says, hey, that's my joke. Yes, I know. Ah, hold on. Crinspec Vander says, it took me a while to wrap my head around the relative movements of this game. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. Uh, right. Okay. Let's have a little do-over. Give me one sec. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a stream on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I am Johnny Chiodini, and today the plan is to play Cocoon. We're going to play Cocoon. We're playing Cocoon. It's a game. It was Eurogamer's game of the year, actually. Sorry about it. Um, sorry about it. Delta 5, Rings of Saturn, but that was nails. That was absolutely nails. Freya's done a super chat saying, I'm not sorry, here's to a marvellous 2024. Blood for the blood pair! Thank you very much, Freya. Right, here we go. Mr. Team Corvette says, can't believe I made it just as you started. Yeah, I know, yeah. <clears throat> right, let me rename the stream. Let's play... Cocoon... Cocoon. Delta 5 was nails. Sorry. Okay. Great. Whew. Oh, it's Delta V for velocity. Sorry. Delta V. Okie dokie. Right. Oh, this seems calming. Doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's better than I thought. I thought it was an asteroid strike. Hello. Oh, it's some sort of seed pod. <laughs> or chrysalis. Or, if you will, a cocoon. Oh, that was harrowing. <sighs> right. Am I supposed to be able to move? Have I forgotten how to control anything? Okay. So, uh, space bar works. I'm not even kidding. Where? No! I do not wish to play with... I have to play with the arrow keys? Alright, fine. Yeah, alright. Well, you know what? It works. Who am I to complain? Okie dokie. Stefan MD says, what happened? I was away for a couple of minutes and the game changed completely, lol. Uh, it was... <sighs> Delta V was nails. It was too hard. <laughs> so we're playing this now. CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, welcome back, Johnny. Fun fact, the asteroid event that ended dinosaurs was technically the highest ratio of killing birds to one stone. That's why I don't trust people saying that they have a fun fact for me. Thank you, CookieCat94. It's nice to be back to being upset by you mildly. Um, I learned over the break, I watched an episode of Puppet History that was about the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. That thing hit the Earth so hard that in one second it was 25 miles under the Earth's surface. That's a, that's a quick rock, you know? Um, right. This is, more, this is more my tempo. We're a bug person. We can wander around and sort of half flap our wings. Just delightful. Lovely. We're in. 
Uh, Minorisu has done a super chat saying, Happy New Year, Johnny and Skellies. We'll catch up on VOD later, but want to say that it is great to start the year with you lovely lot. VOD Squad! Thank you very much. I'll see you in VOD Squad. In fact, if you're watching this now, hello already. Oh. 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 Lucy says, would be more impressive if I knew what a mile is. A mile, one mile is more than a kilometer. Oh. Okay, all right, action button. Oh, I like this. This feels a little bit uh, Death's Door. And a little bit Journey, I guess. A little bit Tunic. Yeah, this is... Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Captain Crimbo says, looks like Johnny lasted about as long as I did with Delta. That is a bloody hard game. I really want to um, to to become proficient with it. But on the first stream of the year is not it's not it's not the one but I'm already feeling a bit rusty when it comes to talking out loud this looks like a friend is it a friend oh 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 good mmm a friend <laughs> Oh, I have mixed feelings about that. Anyone else? That was... Okay. Andy Raff said, I, was also, I would also rise from the sand if someone dragged my ball along like that. Yeah. Okay, hello, friend. Whoa! Brilliant. That... You can never predict what you're going to have a strong reaction to, can you? I mean, like, Bug Snacks... Honestly, I couldn't play it for more than 15 minutes. It nearly broke me. I thought it was horrible. You know? And... And yeah, and, and that also. But then I'll, I'll play horror games mostly fine. Absolutely bizarre. Anyway. Okay, we're good, we're good. Mithril has done a super sticker. It's um it's the the pair. The pair has put down its mug of blood and is now just going like oh way and putting a thumb up, which is very, very nice. Okay. Bumblewings says compellingly wibbly. Is that the kind of thing you're into, Bumblewings, with your with a username like that? Oh this is nice though. Oh shit. Oh Christ. Okay, I'm back in. I'm back into it. Fly, birds! Okay. Okay. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, a floaty friend. Friend? I hope it's a friend. Oh, now here's a... Hmm, here's a conundrum. Because we want that one to be over there. Ah, look. Oh, that's nice. Look. Here we go. Ping! And then we just get off at the next stop. There we are. Well, that was satisfying. Nice little loop there. <sighs> Goblin says, I've rewatched Ellen's playthrough of Bug Snacks so many times, it's a comfort series. I mean, your username is literally Goblin, isn't it, Goblin? Oof. Okay. As long as we're not dragging around too many of whatever those were, I'm all right. Oh. I'm enjoying the little invisible tutorial elements to this. As you learn by doing. That's a big thing, isn't it? Hello, you're a shut door. Let's, uh, let's go this way. Oh, the music's become very ominous. It's become very not friend music. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Pleasing. Oh! Uh, fuck! <laughs> and this is supposed to me be me coming back rested and not anxious and well within myself. Oh dear. 
Ooh. Fucking hell. Mer? Ah! Oh, I don't love it. Oh. Goodbye. Okay. <gasps> I've stolen the thing I was in. It feels some sort of Matrix-esque situation. Because we were living inside this marble that's now on our back. And now it's on our back. We've become Atlas. Shrugger of worlds. <laughs> I've never read Iron Rand. Because, um, fuck doing that. But, uh, you know what I mean. Captain Karimbo says, flee with their glowing orb, Johnny. You don't need to tell me twice. Blap. Wow. That's, uh, degrading for everyone who lives in that world. An entire world. A whole planet. And it's just used to open these two gates. Ah. Oh. Whoop. Where are we off to now? Okay. I'm happy to go over here. Isn't wasn't I here before? Yes, I, I was. Well, I'm not thrilled to be over here then. Oh Brookie B says, isn't this game by the creators of Limbo and Inside? Unsettling horror checks out. Of course. Bloody hell. Chaos says, hey Johnny, how goes? I'm halfway through an exceptionally dull shift at work. I'm alright, Kay, thank you very much. I'm going to be in Edinburgh in March, by the way. Um, I've already told Will. Uh, I'll be in touch about exact details because I would like to come bother you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be up for a few days. It was very sweet. My, um, my partner's Christmas present to me was absolutely spot on. It was just a series of loungewear. So I got some comfy joggers a dressing gown, and uh, some comfy, like, pyjama shorts. Um, and, uh, oh, wait a minute. Hang on, if I can go over this platform, that means I don't need the little steps anymore, doesn't it? Um, and an Airbnb voucher so I can book myself a little break by myself somewhere. <laughs> Basically, my Christmas present was fuck off and be comfortable somewhere else. No, it's, it's so I can go on a writing trip. Every year I threaten to go to Scotland by myself for a weekend and do some writing. And I've never done it in all the years of threatening. And my partner was like, just do it. So there we go. Here we go, look. Here we go. That's more like it. I take it back, glowy orb. You're good for two things. Gates and doors. Oh, that's fun. Diddle 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 ding. PJ Buck. Hello, PJ Buck. Uh, PJ's done a super chat saying, Happy New Year, Johnny and Skellies. Regrettably, I'm working, but we'll watch on VOD. Hi to Kage Nightray, who is enjoying your stream in my stead. Hello! Um, and also BMB do crims and a yellow heart emoji, white heart emoji, purple heart emoji, and a black heart emoji. Well, what happens if I feed the marble? No. Okay, well, let's put that there for a bit then, shall we? No, that's not the... That's not the strat, I'm told. The strat, listen to me. Uh, also, just because it's going to bother me otherwise, um, it's entirely possible that you saw when I tapped out of um, uh, uh, Delta V into Steam uh, that the finals is installed on my computer. I played a little bit of it before Christmas. I did not realise there's AI bullshit in that game. Uh, I haven't played it since, uh, but I also haven't been on my computer since, so that's why I haven't uninstalled it. Um, but suffice to say, oh, I'm gonna. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'm really annoyed that there's AI bullshit in that game, because it was promising. I was really, like, I played it, and I was like, I'm having a nice time playing this. And then it turns out, oh... It's just that same sort of cynical nonsense. This is going to be like an OK Go video, isn't it? I have to run down and hit all of the, the little uh, templates. 
Uh, didn't know that game had AI bullshit. Yeah, it's it's uh, basically some of the voice acting is completely uh, AI done. Like there are announcers in the game who are like, "This team just made a big deposit. They're going to be capitalizing on that next." And basically, it's it's AI, it's it, it's AI generated. They've trained it on some existing voice models. There were interviews about it before it came out. But I completely missed them. Um, yeah, and so they were like, "It's quicker." to get um it's quicker to get the ai voice actors to do a thing for us instead of you know asking a, an actor it's like huh? it didn't take that fucking long to get a person speaking to a microphone but anyway um paul harrower has done a super chat saying happy new year i'm not long back from edinburgh i'm actually from very close to there so um enjoy thank you i will i've not been since oh bloody hell i've not been since 2017 so a good long stretch now but yeah uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Aubrey Murray has done a super sticker. It is of a rainbow. Um, thank you very much, Aubrey. It's nice to see you. Uh, Luke Gray has done a super chat. I'm going to read that out, and then I'm going to see if I can do this on my first try, but I don't think I will, because I wasn't really paying attention to where the pipes need to go. I'm just going to hit every single plate on the way down and see. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, long story short, yes, the finals. It's on my PC. No, I won't be playing it again. Job done. Just wanted to be clear on that in case anyone was like, oh, you secretly support this shit. Uh, Luke Gray's on Super Chat saying, Hi Johnny, long time no see, pals. Can't wait for this year as my D&D campaign is coming to an end. Planning the next already in a world all to do with bugs. Also plans to start streaming too. Looking forward to a great new year. Well, that sounds really promising, Luke. I hope you have a bloody lovely time in 2024. Good luck with the end of the D&D campaign. Shit! Okay, now we go. <laughs> that was close. Oh, cock. Oh, cock. We got it. We almost then didn't get it, but we got it. Whee! Brilliant. I take it back. This lovely glowing marble is very important. <laughs> that was satisfying. I enjoyed that very much. I've played Limbo a lot. and I, But I didn't never played Inside. But this is... Mmm. This is tasty. I'm enjoying it. Even though it means I have to make a new thumbnail for th after this stream. Ooh. Yeah. All right. And then if we do this wing. Meh. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. First try! We can get through there, can't we? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is calming. Big fan. Big fan of this. And so far, we've not had anything... Uh, resembling a bollock since the first one. Ooh! That's very pretty. What happens if we put the thing over here? <laughs> Cookie Cat 94 says make a Hades thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, we've had a few botched streams in the past. I tried to play Dark Side, not Dark Siders. Whatever it was. Shooty, apocalyptic seeming game. I can't even remember the name of it. Bloody hell. Firelighters or whatever it was fucking called. Um, Outriders? Outriders. Tried to play that. Didn't work. Uh, tried to play Forza Horizon. That didn't work. Yeah, we've had a few. Anyway. Fucking Outriders. Uh oh, this seems boss arena-ish. Oh, tits. Who are you? Oh, no, you're a piece of scenery. All right. Ah, good. Just when I said we hadn't seen another bollock. It's it's slightly razor clammy. <laughs> okay. And then... Ooh! Uh-oh. 
That looks like a targeting node, quite frankly. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Oh, there's a specific pattern, look. That's clever. And the pattern's written on here, isn't it? Look at this. Golf Club Wasteland was a failure, as I recall. I did not enjoy that game at all. Okie dokie. So, we're going. Oh. Well, that I don't recognise that one. So we're going Navi from Ocarina of Time. Uh, pointy circle. Uh, pointy U uh, Danish letter. And a triangle. So, Navi, pointy circle, Danish U. Uh, that one, that one. Eat my ass! What? <laughs> I guess. I guess is it the very first one that. Oh yeah, look, that is just one of the symbols. Oh, okay, fine. So we go, the one I ignored. <laughs> then, uh, Navi, pointy circle, uh, <laughs> and triangle. Uh. Friend? What are you? Eyes up, guardian, etc. You're a f you are a friend. Look at you, friend. All right. Thanks, puzzle balls. Oh, no, we're not done here. Oh, we are done here. Amazing. Beep boop, little friend. Can you help with this? Can you activate it? Are you able to activate the thing? No. Oh. Cool. That's very cool. Yeah, enjoyed that. It's a, Lucas says it's a waypoint. It is a waypoint, look. Well, that's useful for me. <sighs> Good. So has anyone made any New Year's resolutions? I've made two. And I never normally make New Year's resolutions, but I've made two this year. Number one. Get off Twitter, because you know what? It's just not worth it anymore. It's very detrimental to my mental health. Uh, it's a horrible pit of people screaming. And even though it's quite important for me business-wise, I've just got to... Enough's enough. My other resolution is to confront more dickheads. Because I saw a lot of dickheads in public last year, and I feel like I confronted a lot of them, which is good. But my resolution is to confront fucking more of them. Just reach in and say, you're being a dickhead. Cheerful Spider says 1920 by 1080. Very good. Oh, JP says my New Year's resolution is 2560 by what 1440. Ooh. There you go. Neko the Kitty says, where will notes about streams be posted then? So, um, I'm going to start using the community tab a lot more on, um, on YouTube. Um... That will help in a big way. Um, I'm thinking about other social media platforms. I'm thinking about maybe just getting a cross-posting thing. So I can post on Blue Sky and Threads and Twitter but not have to fucking look at it. We'll see. But I'm going to use the, the community tab a lot more on YouTube so people will still be updated. And also um, Discord. Um, 
will obviously still be a key part of things. I'll work it out, basically. I'm, it's going to take me a little little time to sort of get it uh, get it going, but yeah. Um, I'll, I'll get there. Ooh, look at these. It's shiny. Ah, I know a bollock when I see one. Oh. <laughs> Actually makes me feel a little bit sick, this. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. No, look, that's... Huh. I'm not putting it on. It genuinely does make me feel a little bit fucking weird. Boing. Oh, good. Oh, I must have got cold. Anyway, oh, fuck, fuck, Jesus. Oof. These, these bees seem upset. Where's my, where's my, oh, my waypoint friend isn't here, I just realised. Hello, bees. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, that's nicer. At least you're calm now. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll avoid that, won't we? Psych the Nerd says, what was wrong with the weird brick spider guy? It's the, the, the sinew that attaches the, the sphere I had to pull. I didn't enjoy it. It was vaguely upsetting. Oh, hello. Are you a friend? <gasps> You're one of these things. I saw you earlier. John Rice is on a super chat saying, so by my count, Bismuth has two brothers, the Speed Quest Hermit, uh, you mean Bromide, and Astatine the Necromancer. Family reunion session when? Also, screw Twitter and be careful when confronting dickheads, but yes, confront. Um, oh. Oh. Fucking hell! That escalated. Family reunion session when? Well, I think I'm going to wait for the Oxventurers to to catch on and acknowledge what I've been trying to do for ages. First, with all of their with all of their chicanery. Haha! I, I et all your bees. Yes, another bomb for for four. Shit! 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 Fuck! Jesus! Oh wow, I got bounced completely then. Um, um Oh did sorry, did you just call me psych? Sorry, Sky. I'm sorry, Sky the Nerd. So I was trying to read and play a video game at the same time. Sorry about that. Uh yes I did, and I'm sorry. Uh yeah. That, not once have the Oxventurers gone, I see what you're doing there. So when they've earned it is when there'll be a family bloody reunion. I got kicked out of the whole world. Now I can't get back. John Keel says, Johnny, are you really expecting D&D players to pick up on hints and threads you drop? I've been trying foreshadowing for years. No, not really, but it was worth it was it's worth a thought, worth a go. Well, everything's But if everything's then how can I I'm trapped. I'm trapped. What the fuck? What the fuck? Chris K has done a big old super chat. Thank you very much. Um, 
Oh, you can, of course, I just have to hold down space. I am not smart. Um, Chris K is on a super chat saying, Hello, I've not been able to watch for a while. Glad to be able to watch today. It's nice to have you, Chris. Um, uh, I'm fighting a horrible thing. Look at it there. Sh Ooh, shaking its hips. I'm fighting Big Bug Shakira, apparently. The fuck? It's a, it's a, it's a quick. Get off me, bees. Oh, that's, that's a worrying one. Okay, now we... Yep. Okay. And we move, and then we... <laughs> right, now, if I've played video games before, and I have, we have to do that two more times. I suppose you would be upset if you had that many shards of whatever it is coming out of your butt, you know? <gasps> you ate my thing! It ate, it ate my handy bomb friend! Alternate name for the community? Fuck off! No, actually, we're not called your handy bomb friends, that would be very bad for... We'd just all be put on a watch list. Eldritch Blast says, isn't it such a rug pull when they require five times? It's disrespectful is what it is. Oh dear. Oh good Christ. If I wanted to play Fall Guys, I would. Shit. Fall Guys, that kind of, no pun intended, fell off, didn't it? What happened there? I mean, I say what happened there. Loads of people still play it, probably. But it felt like everyone was talking about it for a good long while, and then suddenly... Shit, shit, shit! Ooh, though. Have bomb! Take that. Thank you for your sphere. Fucking hell. Okay. Don't hate it. Ooh. Weekend Minis is on the Super Chat saying, Happy New Year's, Johnny and Alice Peace. I hope that everyone who had a rough year last year goes from surviving to thriving this year. I will drink one sip of cold coffee to that, Weekend Minis. Hmm. And some guy on YouTube uh, has done a Super Chat saying, Johnny and Alice Peace, I hope you enjoyed your holidays. Last week I started my Deadlands campaign, and my players are still trying to un-F their heads. So I guess that's a good start. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, I hope you're enjoying Deadlands. As you're probably aware, I love it. Right, sorry, hang on. I'm going to put my jumper back on. <laughs> Emma Benton says, bit dramatic, but okay. Peter Fisher says, Fall Guys started having the community make the levels and tried to bring people in with a crossover event. I'm sure it's still got a, a, a sizable... Um, active player base. It just felt like it was going to be around forever at one point, and then... No, it wasn't. But that's not their fault, obviously. Done! Whoa! Weld destroyed. Oh, no. Ooh! Pathfinder, a gift to guide you is the uh, is the um, name of that. Oh, very nice achievement I just got. Oh, this is great. We. It's gonna see. Yeah, we go all the way back. Look at that. This is lovely. Aiden says you can do private lobbies now, which gave it a brief resurgence on streaming. Well, that's smart. I never won a crown, you know. Never won one. Help. So, yeah, if you're just joining, this isn't Delta V. That game was very, very hard to play for the very first time on a stream. So I'm going to play it in my own time, and we'll see about doing it again at some point. Um, instead, this is Cocoon. 
And this bit of cocoon upsets me because it's a sort of razor clam esque sort of like sinew foot type deal. And it makes me feel not very nice. But that's okay, we've done it now. Captain Crimbo, I want you to know that I've read that and I am not reading it out loud. <laughs> but thank you for the insight. That's in my head forever now. Oh, we've moved to some sort of satellite dish. Ooh, Cheerful Spider says the only crown I ever got was against Aoife and Ian on a Eurogamer, Eurogamer members stream. I mean, that's still not bad, is it? Now, hang on a minute. Did we actually want to move that dish? Is the dish directing the Ruad? Look at that. Yes, it is. To an extent. So, we actually want to move it round again. Mm, and I think another time. Let's find out. Yep. Mm, this, is, this is not going the way I thought it would. Let's do... Fucking... Fuck it! <laughs> uh, hang on. Right. So we can make it go this way. But that doesn't really help. I may be barking at the wrong tree here, but I, I wish to be thorough. Bumblewings says, I'm off to VOD Squad. Have fun, folks. Take care, Bumblewings. Thank you for tuning in. I uh, will catch you on VOD Squad. Aha! Good. Fuck! <laughs> what sh fresh hell is this? What chicanery? Okay. So it's nice when the thing goes that way. We know that much. <laughs> this is, there's anything else we can dick around with around here. Okay. Hmm. The ball moves the path as well, by the way. Where? Oh, the ball moves the path as well. This ball, the the bollock. Oh, look at that! Yes, it does. Just like, just like it, just like we. And hmm. Ah, right. Thank you very much, Cat M. That's the bit I wasn't wasn't uh, thinking of. What did I just drop? I'm sure if it's vitally important, I'll uh, find out later. Right, come here. Right, so we actually want the guy to point is it that way? I think it might be let's try that JP says I'm really not okay with the ball switches me neither Blah. Hey! Lovely! Actually wasn't the path to be taking, but that's fine. But what we are getting here, if you'll notice, is another one of these little loop-the-loop -loop bastards. So if the path doesn't go into that one, but does go into that one... Shut up, Johnny, that's... That's not quite what we're... I had half a thought there. You may have noticed. There we go. No, that is kind of what I meant. Well, we can do this guy. And then sort of this thing. You know? But then there has to be some sort of additional step. Of which I am currently not cognizant. Unless... There is still a path. Yes, there is. Well, now... Me, 
Huh. I'm right in thinking we cannot actually move this. No, it's just there. If I do that, that's just going to come back. No, it isn't. Hmm. Also not helpful. Yes. Unless. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. It's all about control. So I actually didn't hate Yeah, so that's that's good news. Now is there anything we can alt we can change here? Cookat94 says I'm overthinking it. So it's not to do with going back there. Think back to uh, think back to earlier in the game. Yeah, well I remember that bit. Well, you had to jump on the bastards. Oh, son of a... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was overthinking it. Turns out, everyone... First try, all by myself. Thank you, Cookie Cat 94 Oh, fuck. Oh, that didn't feel good. It was scary. Okay, and then there's another little ledgy thing. Okay. Emma Benton says, there they go. Like she was waiting for a puppy to fall asleep. Okay. Meh 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 Hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll probably take this, won't we? I miss my little robotic waypoint friend. Peter Dinklage. Right. Sleeper agent says, Methinks we get another ball. I'm inclined to agree. There's also a bollock here. <laughs> You're tugging them around by the balls. Yeah, you stay there. You power that for me, friend. No, no, no! <laughs> you cheeky little sod. Come back here. You've heard of cognitive behavioural therapy. Now get ready for... Etc, etc. Oh, wait, I have to do one. I have to do one. Oh, there's two of you. Naughty. Okay. All right. Come over here, you. Come on. There you go. All the way over. That'll do. And then you are going to get tugged off, pulled away, we'll say. So it's about there. Come on. I hope this lines up. It's going to be close and bad. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that little whimper it made was, but I didn't like it. Come on! Now say thank you. All right. One sec. 
Oh, never mind. Um, what are you? Oh! <laughs> Am I going to have to fight? I'm going to have to fight you later, aren't I? And that is when I shall nope out. Oh, I didn't mean you, Null and Void. Okay. Thank you, ball perverts. That's unfair. I'm not here to kink shame. Okie dokie. Come on. <laughs> Neko the kitty says speculatively, a wooga? Not a wooga, I would say. It did seem marine-like in origin, maybe. But ultimately, it's no handsome fish prince, is it? Right. This is very nice. Angel Beat says, I got here on thank you, ball perverts. Business as usual, Angel Beat. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take new friend. Should we go visit it? Ooh. Emma S. has done a super chat saying, I usually have to watch these streams on VOD. A canon VODder, if you will. Canon VODder! Oh my god, that's good. Enjoyed that a lot. Uh, but I've actually caught the stream today. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the great videos. Thank you very much for um, canon VODder. What a gift to the English language that is. Um, oh, it's a good pun. I'm well, thank you. Um, despite all appearances to the contrary, I'm well rested for the first time in... Who knows how long, and it's nice to be back at work. So there we go. Sean Patrick says, lovely marine layer, no bloodborne energy here. Oh no. Glad uh, I'm not the only one who's enjoying cannon vodder. Oh, okay, well we need a ball, don't we? It's really spinning me out. Tattoo of her name says, I don't think my pun got seen. Well, let's have a look. Nope. No, it didn't. I'm sorry. Um, what was I going to say? Words out of my mouth, probably. Hmm. We've just come through this bit, haven't we? Are we allowed to take ball in with us? <gasps> I can bring ball to part to to. Oh my god, amazing! And I bet you there's other stuff we can unlock by reversing that and going, taking the the the. Oh, I missed a super chat. Oops. Um. It's a super chat I missed. Oh, there it is. Okay, one sec. Um, I bet you you can take the blue ball inside the orange ball and get different results. That's very interesting. Uh, everyone who makes a blue balls joke is going to get timed out for a minute. <laughs> Tattoo of her name is on a super chat saying, I wanted to get some cans of chicken stock, wait for my D&D &D players to get good and drunk, and then leave the cans on the table and see what happened. <sighs> but apparently, th apparently that counts as bullion. No, oh, it's good! Because, number one, it's quite a funny prank, and number two, it's a good pun. And number three, the setup is elaborate, and I like it. Anyway, right. I keep going to use WASD. I'm not. Here we go. Ooh, Scott says this is a delightfully odd little game. I got distracted by my annual rewatch of The Expanse while assembling my Votan. Um, yeah, I still haven't watched The Expanse. I think because the characters are so vivid in my head from the books that I don't want to change what they look like. You know what I mean? Anyway. 
Alan Voreef says, Hi, always great to catch uh, live once in a while. Have all the asteroids been mined yet? None of the asteroids were mined. This is Cocoon because uh, Delta V was nails. It was too hard for me. There, I said it. I'm sorry. We need we need a friend for that bit. Right, let's take this ball back through the thing. And now what? More puzzling, probably. Well, I myself am puzzled. Let's switch the... Let's switch these guys over. Hmm? Okay. Bonk. Is helping? It does not look like it's helping. Ooh. We need two ball for that. Hmm. 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 This does not feel like the correct direction because we've already been this way. Ah! <laughs> I scared myself by nearly knocking a mug off my uh, desk, but it's fine. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, sorry, I scared you, Emma. Oh, music is fun. Posel. Okay. Where do we find the solution to this one? Do we brute force it? Because we could. Oh, wait. Oh! Ah, oh, shit. Wait. Isn't this what, is this what we did before? Hang on. No. Yes? But yeah, it wasn't going to be that, was it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Ah, look! In the scenery, we have got diamond shape, pentagon, triangle, and navy. So that's diamond, pentagon, triangle, navy. Diamond, pentagon, triangle, e, navy. What can I have, please? Beep. Oh, it's it's Peter Dinklage, bot friend. Of course it is. Okay, well, we'll go this way then. All right, lead on, fine fellow. Lead on. Jay Moles has summoned the blood pair, um, which is, it's, well, it's a big piece of fruit. It's got arms and legs and a face uh, and is, is not only animate, it is sentient. Um, and it seems thrilled with itself. At the same time, it's got a mug, and in its hand, it, it, in, in its hand, and it keeps sort of flashing it around, and um, it's full of a viscous red fluid. Draw your own conclusions on that one, but we do call it the blood pair, um, in honour of the prevalent theory as to what is in the mug. So there we go. Boop. Boop. You help now, friend. But I can't do anything. Wait. What? You're just following me now. What are we supposed to do? Are you going to... Will you come through with me if I leave? <gasps> you will! That's nice. Okay. So the object... The waypoint is telling me to get 
Get back in that ball. So we will. With this ball and... Okay. <gasps> you can get me past this. Oh, that was satisfying. I liked that a lot. I like that an awful lot. Danger. We try it anyway. No! No, friend! No, friend, come! Did not like that. Make me betray friend like that. Friend, nice. Never gonna let that happen to friend again on purpose, anyway. Alright, I know we need to go that way, but I need to find a way to keep you safe. Okay. What if. What if I. What if I can go up there? Oh. <laughs> Shit! Off! Is there anything to be gained from going up here? No. On purpose, anyway. Ah ha 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 ha. If I murder you, it is purely accidental and I cannot be held liable. Johnny, probably. I'm just saying I'm fallible, Emma Benton. I'm just saying that I don't want that thing to get trapped again, but it might feasibly happen. I will not do it on purpose. I'm, currently, I'm trying to find a way around, but I'm wondering if what I need to do is let it happen, go through, do my thing, and then come back out and rescue him. This may just be like a leave your weapons here kind of situation, you know what I mean? And I don't want it to happen. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Hell no. Just go fast, robot. I didn't want that to happen. Oh, look. Then we can go rescue friend, and then make it happen again. I'm sorry, friend. Oh, but wait, look! <laughs> Phew. Okay. So it had to happen once. This is so lovely. This is so very nice. Ken McComfy Boot says, Whoa, this game is beautiful. Hello, LSPs, isn't it? It's just. Well, no! Oh, run, run, friend! Oh, I've really fucked this up, haven't I? Shit! Oh, friend. Oh, little robot friend, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was going to come towards us. I've failed you, little robot friend. Ugh. Well, hopefully the little... Where's he going? Where's he going back to? Show me where you're putting him. Or them. Ah. Okay. Emma Benton says this is what we get for pack bonding with anything. Agreed. Jay Appleseed says, okay, briefly, very confused, but can I check this is not the game that we planned on playing? Can confirm this is not, uh, this is not Delta V. It was so difficult to get to grips with at first that I was like, this seems like a good game. I'm not sure I can stream it. And so, ooh, and so stream it, we did not. I'm not, no, I'm not, yeah, no, we got to get back in there. But how do we...
Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Come, friend. We must away. And then we wait. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's so good. You can see through to the world in real time. Fantastic. Come now, friend. I'm sorry I didn't realise that was the trick. First try. Thank you for still being my friend. In you go, I understand. For you're not just a friend, you're also a key. This game's gorgeous. I'm very much enjoy enjoying this. Some of the elements of the world make me feel a little queasy. They activate something in my hindbrain. But that's alright too. Meep. Where does this path currently go? This way. Ah, but it would be good to rotate the thing so we can go the other way. Good. Try that way. Can try it. Nope. One more, please. Here we go. Manishanan says, What's in the hole? I don't know. Let's have a peek. Hopefully, nothing nefarious. Are there like roots coming out of it? I don't know. Okay. More Dread Moradin says maybe the real friends we made. Well, maybe the real friends were the robots we murdered along the way. Listen, I will accept a charge of negligent homicide or robot side. But that was not murder. Okay? Well, now what? We have to go the long way round. I think. This is interesting. there's no other way up onto the platform, is there? Let me explain my thinking when I said long way round. Because, like, when one door opens, another one closes. It would be good if we could get these synced up. So I thought maybe there's a long way round where you can change the, but that doesn't, where well, you can activate that one and have it open, but that doesn't really mark a sense. And I don't think it's this. I don't think it's to do with rotating this again, because that just means we can't get over there. And I don't think it leads us anywhere new, fun, and exciting. Or maybe it does. Maybe it does. No, this is the way we came, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just the way we came. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? No. No, it's not. I released a moon ancestor. That's nice for me. Okay. James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, rewatching Ox Venture in Space, and after listening to the Mom Can't Cook podcast, I now appreciate Andy's many decom references. They all un unsurprisingly slipped under my radar, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm glad that that has uh, deepened your appreciation of what is a very good podcast. And some very fun uh, sessions of lasers and feelings, actually. Okay. Neko the Kitty asks, are those critters trapped in those cages, or are they keeping us safe from the critters? They look like they're pump, like pampering themselves. You see how they're like kind of doing this? It reminds me of like a, a powder 
applicator of some kind. Anyway, right. Um, it is half past five here in uh, here in London. John Keel says I managed to get a Terry Pratchett reference past Johnny in person. D curse you, John, but not curse you because Terry Pratchett's wonderful. I am spotty with uh, Terry Pratchett, to be honest with you. I've read some Discworld, but not all of it. Um, anyway, uh, it's half past five here in London. So we should take a little break. Let's take a five to seven minute break because I need some water. Because <laughs> my throat's getting a little bit scratchy. Um, and uh, oh, I might have a little stretch and I'm going to check on the dog because she's not in the room. I don't know where she is. So what are you going to do with the next five minutes? When was the last time you stood up and had a little stretch? Are you too warm? Are you too cold? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Um, is there anything you need to do over the next five minutes that you can go and do that will... Um, enhance your enjoyment of the rest of the stream um if so go do it if not there's going to be some smooth jazz and uh, a picture of watson so yeah i'll be back in five to seven minutes and i will see you then
Hello, everybody. That was five minutes of smooth jazz and a picture of a dog. I'm Johnny Kierdigny. You'll watch. I don't know why I'm turning into Pete Sarif. I know it's impersonating. Um, fucking Terry Wogan. You're watching YouTube.com slash Johnny Kierdigny. We're playing Cocoon because Delta V was too hard. Hello. Hello. Um... <laughs> Who's feeling it? Who's feeling it? I really must stop making these streams just a, a, an interwoven lattice of callbacks to previous streams. It's it's too weird. Um, um, right, let's play more Cocoon. Uh, previously, previous, previously on Cocoon. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what we're doing, because, right, we got this little staircase here, right, and we can go over here, and then if we pop that down, this door opens. I wonder if that's the only thing that changes. Oh, well, I can't go that way, can I? Okay, I can't go that way at all, because I've lost the ballon. It would be good if I had the second ball. But... And you're no bloody help, you lot! Eh? This is where we came in, eh? Yes. Huh. Freya says, my favourite voice that you've done is the badger from Bone to Pick. Well, we can't have the other ball because we're inside this one. We're inside one. Mr. Fiori says, is there enough time to run through the door when you pick it up? Oh, potentially. Let's try that. Um, Bone to Pick. Badger. Rookie B says, is the French accent rule in place? Yes, for now, please. Um... If that's all right with ye. <laughs> with ye. Oh, look, there is enough time. Good Lord. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, I mean, to be, I'll be honest with you. I really appreciated Fist of Fury asking if there was enough time to run through the door when I pick it up. That wasn't the solution. Generally speaking, in puzzle games, um, if I ask questions like, where am I going? Um, you all know this by now, but uh, they are to be taken as uh, rhetorical. Um... Uh, I, if I am genuinely stuck and I'm genuinely asking for help, I will ask in a French accent, uh, with all apologies to anybody who is French and watching this. So there we go. Uh, Angel Beat says, It's arid in here! Christ. Um, mm, 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 mm. um, Uh, James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, Also, Rogue Trader is very good. It's faithful to the 40k universe, and one of the character voice options sounds like Matt Berry. Sold! Sold! Absolutely phenomenal. The Badger from Bone to Pick. I'm struggling to remember that. Bone to Pick. I don't remember this at all. Yes, all right. The French accent's not good. I'm sorry. Right, anyway, we're through the door. Let's crack on. Well, well, we can't get through there. This is bullshit. Oh, look. Bet we can squeeze through there, though. Yeah, we can, look. It's almost like in a puzzle game, if you look around you, you'll start to find the solutions to the uh, problems you're having. Oh, well, that's fun as well, look. You go this way. Ooh. <gasps> can we go get Robot Friend back? Let's find out. Always nice to check in, isn't it? Well, no, we're just back here. What this? This was all here before, wasn't it? 
Yeah. <laughs> Mabel Teacher says, it's a good French accent, it's just not an accurate French accent. Touché. Boing! Okay. Well, now what? Now we have no ball at all. We just have double ball. Interesting. Oh, holy shit. Oh, holy shit, that's good. Oh my god. Oh, that's good. I really enjoyed that puzzle. That was very, very nice. Okay. The Borg Captain says, just joining, what was Delta V like? And uh, Tegan Evans says, anyone want to catch me up? I have literally no idea what's going on. So, we tried to play Delta V, um, and the controls were very tricky for me to get to grips with while streaming for the first time in a, in a while. Um... And it stressed me out a bit, and I thought, let's play Cocoon. So we're playing Cocoon. Now, I am this little bug-type fellow who can wander around and interact with things. On my back is a little marble thing, which also contains an entire world. If I go through these little things, this is like a hub world. So what I could do, actually, for example, is swap these out, pop that one on there, and suddenly... Oops. Suddenly... We're in the, the we're in the orange one, but right now we want to be in the green one. Um, that's kind of an event that says like the end of the end of Men in Black with marbles. Exactly, the galaxy is on Orion's belt. Um, could have just said the cat's got it. It's fewer syllables, mate. Anyway, my cat has it. Oh, we can't get through here because we need a little robot friend to unlock that. Basically, we've just been bimbling around through this game and solving delightful puzzles. Ah, there is one one element of this game that is not so delightful, and it is these things. They're, they're spheres that you need to drag around, say, to here. Not, not, not a problem, it's just that the way that they are connected... It looks somewhat testicular, doesn't it? Did we mean to go all the way around with that? Let's see what's this way. Oh. Well. Oh. Turns out. Anyway, it's just lovely. It's bl bloody good fun, this. Ooh, what are you, then? Hello! You look scary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boing. And if we go this way, we're over here, which is where we were. Nice which says, what? I didn't know this was happening today. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't know. No one tells Sarah anything. No, sweet friend. It's nice to see you. We tried to play a game about mining. It was fucking hard. So now we're playing Cocoon, which is a game not exclusively about balls, but balls do feature. Like this one. Oh, shit! Hee hee hee. Hee hee, get tickled. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're not a friend. You're the horrible thing we saw earlier. Ugh! It's like a manta ray with tentacles and weird grabby arms. And it can cloak. That's upsetting. Fuck off! Oh, horrible. Yeah, get oh oh shit! Oh okay. Oofed. Oofed. Okay. 
Nice, it says Steve Irwin, you would have hated this game. I knew you'd get the vibe immediately on entry, Sarah. I hope you're well. I hope you had a lovely festive, restive period. Well, not restive, because restive means that you're not actually restful. You're, you're... Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh! We need the bollock! Acquire the bollock! Acquire the bollock! Ah, no, I've been... It's happened again. Nope, put that back. Who's in here? Ugh. One of the cats just nudged the door open, looked at me and went, Nah. Decided not to come in, which is great. Okay. It's nice that he just hurls me out of the marble instead of like, I don't know. Oh, okay, so, yeah, instead of, like, eating me alive or something. Okay, hang on. So, I think we need it to be near the pillars in order to activate them, but so far, I've been caught 100% of the time. So we need to be better at it. See, look, like that, like that, like that, just like that. Fuck, fuck. Oh yeah, you got to take the, you got to take the bollock off. Come here. Activate, boom. Oh fuck. Shit. Ah. Oh, Ooh, maybe I had to fly it into that thing. That thing looks fun. Let's fly into that thing. Come here. Shit for brains. That was mean. Even though he's a horrible boss, he didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve that. I've, I've absolutely no way of determining what uh, sex or gender this thing has. Right. And then we got it. No, that's not how we do. Well, don't feed yourself to it. We'll work this out. We'll work this out. If I just continue to... Just continue... I'll eventually... I'll fail forwards. Oh, look, it's activated a different one this time. Run away! Run away! So brave. Ah, get out of my fucking way. Now, what I want to do is... Murder it. I'm a bit confused. Where are you? No! Fuck off! Fuck off! Okay, I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> um, I have clearly not uh, prevailed in this combat so far. So if you have uh, any idea as to what I should do, just let me know. Grab the ball, dodge the purple things, and then let it land before flying over it. Yeah, thank you, Ray Shadow Heart. Yeah, I have to hit. It. Oh, I have to hit it. I have to hit it when it's on the ground. I just kind of keep assuming it's got limited fuel. 
Avoiding getting hit is a good good tactic. You're right. You're right. Look at that. Thank you, everybody. Goblin says, maybe try winning? <laughs> oh. Ugh. Eldritch Blast has done a super chat saying, glad to be back after the turn of the year. Back to work for me. Catch you on VOD. And much love all. Take care of yourself, Eldritch Blast. I hope you have a lovely rest of the time at work. I hope uh, it passes quickly. And the, you have a rest full time afterwards. Don't eat me. Fuck you. It ate me. Okay. Okay. We go again. Let's go back to the start again, because we have been yeeted, yeeted, yeeted. Jay Mole says, would that thing be a Tritopus? I suppose it would. Missy Mary says, sorry Johnny, that was one loss too many. I'm on the horrible creature's side now. No, that's fair. Oh, fuck off! Nice, which says, not often you get to hear the Lighthouse family in a gaming stream. I think that's where everyone else is falling down, actually. Come to think of it. I've been trying to think, because my partner uh, puts Twitch on in the background while they're painting, and at the minute they're painting a lot. Um, so I'm sort of hearing a lot of Twitch streamers kind of in the background of my day-to-day -day as I'm pootling around the flat at the minute. And, you know, there are people who are... What's interesting is my partner follows games around rather than following particular content creators. So they used to watch a lot of DayZ, now they're watching a lot of Lethal Company, etc., etc. And I think that's I think the thing that's just kind of interesting, because obviously I'm a variety streamer. But then I was like, what one game would I stream? If I had to pick one game, and I played that all the time on stream, and that was like my whole fucking... Uh, whole, that was my whole deal. What would my game be? Would it be... Don't eat me! That's not a game. I was talking to the enemy, Alan. Would it be... Sea of Thieves, maybe. Knack, says Emma. Right, yeah, of course. Oh, fuck off. Two rounds of this, is it? No, so it says it would be Halo, obviously. I mean, not if I wanted to have anyone watching. Okay. Necco the Kitty says Skyrim. Hmm, would that be your one? Oh, no. Camel, fuck off. Ah, shitballs. Ah, oh, fuck off. That's where the bomb lives. Oh, fuck you, you cock. Oh, this... Shit off. Dickhead. John Keel says, BG3, surely. Oh, not for me. I still haven't started Act 3, and I don't know if I have oil. Right. I'm airborne now. You little bastard. Jay Mollis says, uh, sorry, Jay Mole says, I'd pick Stardew just for all the mods. Yeah, fair. Oh, fuck off. This is just like Returnal. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck you. I enjoyed that. Genuinely, I did. Counter to all appearances. Woo!
Coffee Cat says, I can't tell if that horrible thing is making me dizzy or my blood sugars are low. Probably worth investigating that, isn't it? I'd have a look into that. <laughs> Hissy Mary says, back on Johnny's side now. You fair weather friend. Nice for it says, I'm really excited for Johnny's JRPG era where they only stream Final Fantasy X for years and I'm the only viewer. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. Ah, uh, think of all the fun we'll have. Yeah, let me through. Why for Johnny? Hello? 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 Do we need to go back in? Surely not. Why do you not let me fucking through? It's because I had to hit spacebar. At least if I stream the same game every single time, I'd know what to do. You know? This is fun. Look, it's another one of these. It's another one of these where you go round, eh? You do a little loop. You swap it. And then it's, yeah, then it's the way you need it to be. No, so it says, also, wow, have we all played Alan Wake 2 yet? What a game, what a time. No spoilers, obviously. Not played it yet. Still playing Alan Wake 1 for Presnick Chiodini. This is fun. Oh, fuck off. It's not fun anymore. I'm just kidding. It's fun. See? My ball! It's okay. Whee! This is relaxing. And then I assume... Yeah, come on. You give me the chance to loot round, mate, and I'm gonna... Oh, wait, I didn't do it right. Bit. Yeah, come back. But now let me... Oh, you need the fucking ballon to do it, don't you? There we go, look. There we go. No, but you... Ah, okay. Shut up, Johnny. Do I get it? I almost get it. Oh, look, there's another bit down here. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go, look. Turns out the real loop the loop was the loop the loop that was over here. Fuck off. Right. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. We're not talking. I've got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Ah. One of these days I'll do something smart. How am I get Am I doing the thing again? Okay, no, I get it. 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 I think I get it. Wait. No, don't worry, everyone. I don't get it. I nearly get it. I nearly get it. Because I've got to I've got to go along here again, haven't I? It's a perspective puzzle, I think. But it's a problem of getting the... Because this thing's a fickle bastard. If I do that, then I can't put the guy in the thing. You know? But then if I... Oh, look, I can go this way. Hmm, there it is. The slight tension headache that comes with streaming a puzzle game. I've missed you, old friend.
I could have just done that. Anytime I wanted. Anytime I wanted, I could have done that. But does that change a fucking thing? I mean, it... It ought to. Ah, yes. Here we go. Right. Once again, it's timing. It's timing, timing things. See? Now go! Oh, that's quick, though. Oh, that's very fast. Too fast, in fact. Hmm. And then there's this bullshit to deal with. Right. Stomp. But then we can't put anything in there. Let me sort of just give it one of these. Oh! Oh! Oh, I get it! There we go! I... I get it! Ah, uh, but I can't get up there. And if I do that, I need to do that bit quicker. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Fun! Right, you come back here. Don't know why I'm turning into fucking odd. Oh, look, and it gives us a break. No, no, I did that too. I, I was overthinking it, actually. Can we go up? And then immediately back to. Not that quick, back down. Wait a second. Boing! Okay. No! No, I am getting it wrong again. Wait. Okay. Okay. It is that one down there that I need to be controlling. So, here we go. Right. Yeah, right. Okay. So, we do that. And we do that to freeze it. And then it is this one. We do want to go down there. Because then if we go, whoop, then we can run and boink. Fuck you. I'm past that bit of the puzzle. Oof. We got there, gang. <laughs> in a glorious show of faith in me, Joe Humbert just went, three game stream? No, no, we got it. We got it. That was fun. Alan Voreef says, I gotta pop out, but I'll leave you in the good company of my dog, Soup. Good luck puzzling. Oh, Soup sounds like a bloody lovely dog. I won't say said dog's name again, uh, just in case said dog gets confused and riled up right before you have to go. But believe me when I say I would like to. Well, if it isn't, if it isn't, reset that. And if it isn't, if it isn't more puzzle. Well, well, well. A puzzle. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, wait, look. There was a platform there. That's actually... Well, well, well. If it isn't actually quite a straightforward bit of puzzle. Well, 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 if it isn't... Ooh! That's beautiful! Well, that's not going to do anything, is it? Um... Oh, I'm not sure what that username is. Who's, who's done a super chat? I'm very, very sorry. It's it's showing up as just some 
very small, very small characters on my stream, uh, screen rather. Blah, 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 blah. Um, um, anyway, so, let's try that again. Uh, I've had a super chat. I don't know what to say in place of a username, but uh, it says, thank you for the stream. During the last few days, I've watched your old streams and that helped me a lot. Um, I'm very glad they've come in handy. It's one of the nice things about having done this for a while now is that there's a good back catalog of stuff for people to watch. Um, and that is, yeah, it's it's very nice. Um, it is, uh, I hope it proves a comfort to people. Now what happens if I do this? No, no, I can't do anything more with that. Marie, thank you Marie. Sorry I couldn't, I didn't know what your username was at first. Well here's a, right, okay. I can't imagine it's to do with... CJ Vale says, oh, I get it. Yeah, CJ Vale. <laughs> I'm CJ Vale and I get it. That's unfair. That's not charitable of me. I'm glad you've got it, CJ. Because that means that if I get stuck, I can ask you for advice. But fuck off! Not you, fuck off. Okay, here we go. Boing. Yeah, okay. And then, you know, boing, obviously. There's some stuff. Stuff there. Can't activate that anymore. What we want is for this here to be back there and solid. Clearly missing a step, aren't I? Oh, here we go, look. No, wait, no, this is just, this is just the same thing that happened before. No, it's good. <laughs> <sighs> the lie I tell myself to make myself feel better when moments like that happen is that I'm also, you know, I'm also streaming and reading chat and, you know, I'm doing two things at once. <clears throat> Boing. I mean, I'm not lying when I say I'm also streaming, but... What you got for me, friend? Do we want to go back in there? I guess we do. Oh, hello, this ball. Would you like to leave? Is it? Yeah, we don't need to go in anywhere else, do we? I mean, I don't know. What the fuck was this way? I do not remember. Ah, we still need... I don't do usernames, says back to work now. I'm sorry to see you go, I don't do usernames. Um, I, hope he, I hope the rest of work goes very, very smoothly and have a lovely rest of your day. Um, let's just, just, no, let's take this, this one out of here. Is it time? Is it time to go back into the other one? Hang about. Now, hang about. Are those gates colour coded? They fucking are. This game's great. I'm going to pop that there because I like looking at it. And then we're going to go on like this. Fucking brilliant. Big fan of that. 
Yep. What we got now? Oh. But wait. But wait. Well, we still need to go back that way, don't we? Our balls have been separated. I didn't mean... Well, no, there it is. Just fucking... God damn it. First one of 2024. I need to update that picture as well. Anyway. Anyway. Anywho. Chunky Whippet says, I had that on, had this on in the background. I heard that and spat my drink out, lol. Yep, you're welcome. Right, so we need the, the green sphere to do the stairs nonsense. So, what I think we should do is dip back in here and try and go back to get the... Well, no, because the other one isn't in here, is it? The other one's not in here. So now we don't have a sphere. Craig M says that needs to be clipped. Yeah, probably. But we don't... Okay. Oh, no, wait, look. We... Yeah, hmm. Yeah, hmm. Herm. Ah. I wonder. I wonder. I think this is the solution, but I'm trying not to verbalise it, because if I do, my brain will go... Pfft. Yeah, that's it. Now we've nested the green sphere inside the red sphere. And now, if we pop into the red sphere... Grab the green sphere, and leave again, we ferried it across... And we're able to do that. Nice, nice, nice. Goodly nice. Fun! And then, of course, we just do that. And we need the... Do we need the red one specifically for that? It looks like it. The orange one. Red, orange, who knows? Oh no, it's fine. Okay. Honestly. Do I need to do the same trick? No, I don't. Hmm, but I do need a, an orb to... You can't get up there. Oh, wait, look. You can... Silly me. You can just pick one up and carry it. There we go, look. Good. I see you all. I see you, Amira Kane, saying the balls nestle together quite nicely. I can see. I see what you're doing. Oh no! Come back, the thing. I need to swap these. I fucked it up. Okay, you can just do that. Great. Phew. I see what... I know what you're doing. Oh, me, I'm so innocent. All oh, the balls nestle together quite nicely. Hmm. You're not fooling anyone. I remember one time... I must have been ten. If... Yeah, I was ten years old. Um... My school teacher was reading something out about a building and was like, I think it might have been Crystal Palace. It was like, Crystal Palace was first erected in, and I went to go like, <laughs> erected. 
but in my haste I just turned to my friend and roared, ERECTED! And she went, yes, Jonathan. Erected. I was like, yep, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, good news. Emma Benton's clipped it. That's nice. Thanks, Emma. I just bellowed erected at my friend Charlie. Yep. That's the clip, all right. I'll put that on some sort of social media later, probably. As if to say, look what you're missing out on. Okay, so we need to find this... No, I didn't mean to... Oh, fuck it. That's not the sequence. We need to discover the sequence. Oh, look, it's here. That's nice. Okay, so we've got... Diamond. Triangle. Navi. Uh, Pentagon. Diamond, triangle, navy, uh, pentagon. Triangle, navy, uh, pentagon. Okay. Diamond, triangle, navy, uh, pentagon. Hooray! Here he comes. The best little friend in the whole game. No, Switch, I don't think you will have seen this yet. We're about to meet a friend. Look at our little friend. He's a waypoint. Follows me around. Shows me where to go. It's a little guy. Yeah, it's a little guy. We don't want to go that way, do we, little, little waypoint friend? But he's following me. Is he shining the light on this orb? No, he's not. He is showing me a waypoint. Oh, yeah, of course. He's showing us this way. Oh, he's so helpful. We didn't murder him. There's a puzzle where he got briefly trapped. And it was upsetting. And I felt bad about it. But now, some agitators, namely Emma Benton... One of our wonderful mods, thank you very much for moderating the community, etc, etc. Uh, is making out that it was a cruel, deliberate act of, of moida. When it was not. It was, at, at worst, negligent manslaughter. Ah, oh, of course you take Emma Benton's side, nice witch. Of course you do. Fine. Okay. Now then. Now, if he's flashing there, that means that this is the sphere we need to get into. I'm going to take this this sphere with me. Because we need to go this way. According to good friend, little guy. Yes! Zegger Genesis says, someone called Frog Detective. They're the only one who can get to the bottom of this. Oh, I mean, I do like a bit of Frog Detective. I'll tell you what, over over the the break, so on, on um, Christmas Day, normally it's just me and my partner, but we had three, count them, three friends who were stranded and didn't have anywhere to go. So we said, oh, just come to us. We'll do like a, a Waifs and Strays Christmas, which was delightful. Um... The first person to show up was my friend Paul, who brought with him a case from Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, which basically, if you, I'm sure a lot of you will be aware of it, but it's, a, it's kind of like, it is a board game, it's a tabletop game, where basically you've got a bunch of things. You've got some case notes which outline the case that you and, you and Sherlock Holmes are going to be solving slash competing against one another in, kind of, really. You've got a directory of uh, people in London You've got a list of places you can go. You've got the newspapers. And basically, you get some notes. And then you have to start picking apart the clues and being like, oh, should we go to the morgue and check out the body, etc., etc. And then you, you go like, oh, if we go to the morgue, we need to go and look in this book and read out paragraph 6E or whatever. Um, and uh, we just sat down and I put on a, a, you know, a roaring fire video on YouTube. We put some classical music on and then we were just sat there reading through the papers, occasionally going, listen to this, jewel thief apprehended. Um, and it was fucking wonderful. 
like I felt like an honest to god detective. There was one bit where like there was a little thing about a guy changing rooms in the hotel, and I was like, he's sneaking out the window, he's sneaking out the window, and I was fucking right, and it was brilliant. But anyway, Frog Detective reminded me of Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, and I remembered I bloody love a cooperative puzzle game where you end up pacing the room and being like, wait, listen to this, we're missing something, but it's so good. I like it. Story over. Now, this is interesting. We could pop out of the... No, let's keep going this way. Did you get your Deerstalker cap, says Yoms. I don't own one. And also, you're not playing as... You're not playing as Holmes in that. You're playing as Wiggins and, I think, Watson and trying to solve the case. Because afterwards, you compare... You ask, answer a bunch of questions like who done it, what was the motive, etc., etc., you know, based on the case. And that gives you a score. But then you have to deduct points for how many different locations you went to and compare it to... Sherlock Holmes's score and see if he did better than him. To be honest with you, I'm not really fussed about that bit because if you try and do it in as few possible clues, well, as possible, as few clues as possible, you miss more of the game. So I was quite happy to just go lots of places and really piece it together. But it's delightful and I want to do that more. And I like... I, I want more game like that. I should probably play Case of the Golden Idol soon, shouldn't I? Um... Although I want to play a Highland song. I'm going to stream that next week, I think. Um, Amaya Akane says, There have been a lot of balls and polyps lately on the channel. Sherlock Holmes, Peglin, this, just saying. Yeah, weird. Very weird. Boing. Oh, no. Okay, full disclosure. Full disclosure. If you can see the little, little friend just saying, Don't go over there. That's because those things will trap him. Or them. If we put the sphere here, it moves them. But how far, I know not. But I'll tell you what we ought to do. Oh, no, that moves them back. But if we pop the... Okay. So we've also got a pipe here. We can't put the sphere in the pipe that way. The sphere has to come this way. So. We need to get over there and pop the sphere in. I need to take... Emma Benton says, I think friend must be sacrificed, sadly. I agree, it's just that... I get told off whenever I do it. Because it's heartbreaking. I'm sorry in advance. He's not dead, he's just encased in goo. And he's over there now, for us to break him out. But, right, if we do this... Doing! Oh. No, I needed to... I needed to, like... Kobe that shit, didn't they? Slam Donkus. Quickly, friend. We must move as they move. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And then what we can do... Let's do it again, but with the thing and the guy. No. What I've done there is reset this whole fucking thing. Do I have to feed him to the thing again? No. Where? What have I done? Oh, why? Why am I like this? I had the answer. I had the answer. Oh, friend, little pal. I'm so sorry. Nice, which says that first one was just a practice goo. Yeah, I guess. No, I need to bring this with me. God damn it. I'm awful. Donk. 
Oh yeah, because we just had to go up. We just had to go up to where the... Oh, fuck. Well, that's... We just had to go up. That's how we all... We just had to go further north. We had to go north. Oh, I'm terrible. But hey, at least we waited rather than forcing a third goo on Robot Friend. I'm so sorry, Robot Friend. He didn't deserve a second going. He didn't deserve a first one. But it was a, a cruel necessity. See, look, we just had to walk. Okay, then we go that way. <gasps> a shortcut! Thank goodness. I'm sorry, friend. Thank you, friend. Yom says Bitty Bot is baby. <laughs> I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too quick to refer to anything as Bitty Bot. Um around British people. <laughs> Bitty has a slightly different connotation over here. Like, we don't say itty bitty, we say like itsy bitsy, so we can avoid saying bitty. Do we go in the thing? Bitty's not like Fanny, am I okay? No. Bitty is, um. Bit, I'm not wrong. Bitty means like a, mo a mother's teat, right? UK friends? Urban Dictionary. Bitty. Oh, or a, oh no, it's a... Uh, oh no, it's not that. That was just a little Britain thing. Sorry, Baddy wrong legs. Yeah. No, a bitty is, um, is a hot person. Or no, it's... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's, it's tits, right? Yeah, I did see Little Britain. I'm really sorry. Fuck it. I mean, because I fucking hate Little Britain now. Uh, I think David Williams is a really fucking, fucking cruel man. I think he's horrible. But Bitty is... Yeah. Yeah, anyway... Talk about something else. We've got a tiny robot friend. Oh no. Fuck off. Fuck off. Why are you like this? What are you doing? Fuck off. Anyway. So we need to go that way. Can we? What happens if we... Anyway. Yeah, we do need to get back in there. Ooh, the whip. Can you help me, friend bot? I need... Yep, yep, yep. This is later. Okay, anyway. It's yeah, it's not it's not fun slang, it's derogatory slang, as CJ Val says. Anyway. Um oh let me tell you about a fantastic new app that I've been uh, using recently. This isn't a, this isn't an advert. This isn't this is genuinely just there's a really good app that I've been using. Um called Merlin, which helps you identify 
birds that you see. Um, in a, it's got a handy five-step thing where it's like, how big was it? Where'd you see it? What colours was it? Was it doing anything? And then it so, shows you a list of birds that it probably will be based on your location and the answers. And then you go, yeah, that's my, that's my one. That's my bird. It's brilliant. Nice, which says, I identify all birds I see as dickheads. No app necessary. I forgot about that. Oh my god, this is so simple. Just wait. And then, oh fuck, I fucked it. Wasn't that simple. Wasn't that simple. It takes timing, that. Uh, it's really, really good. I bloody love it. And it shows you a list of all of the birds you've ever seen. Uh, and it's a completely free app. It's brilliant. And you can try and um, it can try and identify birds based off sound, which is a different app called BirdNet can do that. But um, uh, turns out Merlin's gone it all. Merlin, if you do want to sponsor one of these streams, I completely understand if you don't. Uh, but do let me know. Oh, Christ on a bike. That was stressful. This looks like some dead sunken civilization kind of thing. Bye, friend. It was nice to see you. So long, buddy. Uh. Should we go get Sphere? Should we go get Sphere? Let's, let's just go. Uh -oh. Does the app have achievements? Oh, I don't know, Vivian. Um, Maybe. Oh, fuck me. What is this? Oh! That's our next boss. Eh. Hmm. I don't like it. Does it have... Does it have achievements? I don't think it does, unfortunately. But I can show you. Do you want to see? Tell you what. Hang on. Let me see my. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, this webcam is not plugged in. That's why. Hold on. No, it is plugged in. It's just not working. I was going to try and show you my my life list of all of the birds I've seen since I installed the app. But um, I can't. But there are 26 birds on there. So there you go. It's just fun. I like it. I see a, a bird and I'm like, is that is that new? It's kind of like a Pokedex. You ain't my friend. <laughs> you ain't my bird. Now, does the purple sphere activate this? No. And what is this? I just don't know. Right. Now. Oh, what I'd like to do. Wait a minute, no. Dactari says, Johnny, you can't ask the birds, is that you? They can't talk. No, is that new, I said. Okay, you put the sphere in the other sphere. That's what you do. This one's fun, apart from the boss looks harrowing. Oh, no, I don't like it, actually. No, no, I take it back. This looks jellied. Have that. Enjoy my spheres. Wait, where are you going with my spheres? Hey! Oh! Oh, it's like a fucking central nervous system. That's hideous. Yom's got it. You put the sphere in the other sphere and shake it all up. I didn't remember what the next words were. Oh, wow.
Bleh. 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 Oh. Captain Crimbo says, it wiggles slightly, oh no. Yeah. It does, thank you for pointing that out. I didn't realise body horror sections, but they are still unexpected every single time. It's... This is a cracking game, but also... Ugh. Okay. There's an unhappy plate there that wants something. Aha! Another one of those. Have you seen one of these yet, Nice Witch? This is... I mean, this is the first thing that really upset me. It's just... Do people know what I mean when I say, like, a razor clam? Like, the, the foot that comes out of it. It's horrible. Quintus Sertorius says, currently recovering from brackets successful. That's the... that's good. Surgery to defeat... Some, uh... Kidney stones. Thanks for being lovely and while I rest and recuperate. Johnny and Skelly pals. Um... Uh, firstly, uh, I'm really glad the surgery went okay, and I hope you are alright. Um, second, is anyone getting buffering at all? YouTube is telling me it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, and as such, viewers will experience buffering. But according to OBS, I'm sending 5,280 kilobytes per second, so that shouldn't be a problem. I got a little buffering there, but I refreshed and it's all good. Okay. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, Nato gets his had a tiny buffy. Refresh if you need to, my good pals. Um, I'm glad it seems all right now. Hello, Sphere. Oh, excuse me, sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. Ah! <gasps> you can walk. Oh, this is going to be very handy. Because what I need you to do... Oh, you can't come over here. Oh, you sweet little baby. You lovely little angel. Come this way. Ah! Oh, cool. And then... That's gross. But this is good. Because look, what can happen here is... Hey, friend! Come on. Come on. Hang on. Let me just... I'll get you a little platform. Orb luggage, says Captain Crimbo. On you get. Come on. Yeah. What a lovely friend. Where are we going, orb friend? I don't know. You can't go that way. And it doesn't look like either of us can... <laughs> got there. Fuck off. A fly landed on my face. Is it this way that we go? Oh, yeah, look. Look. Wanted friend. Little platy, platy friend. Plit plat. No. No. Guy opens doorway to show everyone. Horrible. I was waiting to see who that joke would laugh with. <laughs> okay. Well, what now? Because I don't want to go back without me orbs. Those are me orbs. I need them. Give me back me orbs. Riddle of the Sphinx to <laughs> J. Moles. Very good. Yom says, uh, did you, uh, hmm? did you adventure in Orange World? You bossed green and wasn't sure about orange. Uh, I'm not certain. I know I'm probably missing some stuff. 
I'm also a little confused as to what now. Because we can't... But it's got me spheres! I want me spheres back! <laughs> can we have them? This thing's powered now. May we have them? Oh, we can. We can just take them. <laughs> okay, fine. Then. Boss in orange was B. Yeah, we, we wrecked that guy. Okay. So now, what it would be nice to do is extract one of the ballons from... We need to get the orange sphere fuck off out of the green sphere. Just call me two spheres, Johnny. Don't call me that. Don't call me that. No. God, what was I thinking? All right. <laughs> Good on you, Captain Crimbo. Well done. Look at me! Matrioska spheres, says Quintus Sertorius. That's, a, that's much more of a highbrow ref joke than anyone has made at this stream. <sighs> Prince Beckvander says, But you have three spheres. Listen, Crin. There's one thing you need to know about Johnny Two Spheres, is that Johnny Two Spheres can't count. My Spheres! Oh no. Now I'm Johnny No Spheres. Come back here. Come back, Sphere. Oh no, you're friends. Thank you, friends. Friends? Fuck you! You were supposed to... Well, I suppose that's borderline helpful. I have to go to that one first. Oh! That sounded nasty. Oh, fuck you! I need a s I've really gone round on this, haven't I? Bleh. Right. Hmm. Hmm. But I want to take orange sphere over to where the other sphere thing is. Rubbish. Okay. Oh, look. Sphere pipe. Emma Benton says, I feel like basing your entire personality around spheres you routinely lose isn't a great foundation for an identity. Touché. My sphere! Oh wait, no, I can get through here. It's just a sphere can't. Oh, it's fine. My sphere. Uh, yeah, touché, Emma. God, this game's fucking great. And it sounds just lovely. Oh, yeah! <laughs> friend! Hello, sphere friend. Come on! You've got a pipe to get in. Yeah, man. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. In you get. Come on. Get in the... I said get in the pipe. Oh, no. You can't get in that pipe. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Where the fuck can you go, then? This way? But this is where you came from. In that case, we should go the other way. No, we can. Yes, we can. But we can just go in a circle? 
Friend, sphere friend, I am confused. Let me just walk around like a like a buffoon for a minute or two more. Oh, really, I'm starting to get that streaming a puzzle game tension in the back of my head. I would like to remind you not to give me puzzle solutions until I ask for them in a French accent. Thank you very much. Yeah, you stay. You, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stay there. But me, 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 me. Now, oh, old friend. Okay. Let's see. What now? Well, we went that way. I think I just have to be more patient with Orb Friend. Come, Orb Friend! Well, that's a thought. I wonder. May I just. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh! See, that's one thing old friend has that others don't. A detachable head. <laughs> Alright, gang. You get... You all get a little orb friend that will follow you around like this wherever you go. What are you putting in it? What goes in your orb friend? Job bloody well done. Emma Benton says snacks. J Moll says nachos. Naka says cider. Stevie Wonderbread says cat. Yeah. yeah. I don't hate it. Dice, dice friend. Issy Mary says bowling ball. Uh, right. Let's swap these. Make it a dice tombola. 50 foot of hemp and rope, says Mankoy. More balls, says T-Beard. Fair enough. Well, hmm. Nice search says, how much stuff can we put in Orb Friend? Because I'd be using it as an excuse to never have to carry a bag again. No disrespect to Orb Friend. No, I'm with you. I think I, you know... I wouldn't just put one thing in it. Yeah, but yeah, it would be a lot of things. I wonder if I could fit in Orb Friend, a portable nap pod that counts as a bag when I'm not using it. it sounds pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. I've bollocks this up, haven't I? Because I need to be down there to when it's like that. When it's when it's like that. Okay, well, now hang on a minute. I approached from here, so I needed it to be like this. Deep. Because I want to go down there. Hmm. Chris Worsley says, I already have a little friend that follows me everywhere. She is called Dog with Abandonment Issues. Talk about nominative determinism, etc, etc. 
Hmm. Nato Gat says, but then you wouldn't go anywhere because Orb Friend can only follow. Well, if I get in Orb Friend to have a nap, Orb Friend can just stay there. This is one of those ones where I can absolutely feel people going, just, just do, just, no, you've nearly... James Malcolmson says, Orb friend implies the existence of Orb enemy, and now I'm scared. Fair. Orb enemy is the Vegas sphere, says Nice Witch. Spot on! Absolutely bang on. Dactari says, I think we're getting to the point where people yell at their screen. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure we are. We've also... It's my doorbell. Why is my doorbell going? Hold on. Damn it. Well, there we go. First doorbell of the stream. That's of the year, rather. First doorbell, first regret screen. First blood pair. It's all kicking off, isn't it? All right, we've got six minutes left on the stream, so I'm just going to ask, uh, how's, what the fuck? How do I get past this beat? I understand this is about timing, but I do not get it. My French accent has got worse for this year. Gary Joy says it's going to be a good year then. I like, yeah, sure, that's an auspicious start, isn't it? Remy, what are you doing? Wait a fucking mi Wait a fucking moment. So, everyone shut up. Hold on. Boop. <laughs> that fuck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we got it. Ho, oh, ho, orb friend. Orb friend. Let me just go get my other orb. <laughs> ah. What? C'est bon, c'est bon. Come on, orb ami. No, go back there. How do I? Man, no. Ah, fuck. No. Ah, shit. <gasps> No. Hey, orb friend. That was just fun. I don't think that really did anything. Orb friend, baby. Orb friend, baby! Wait a minute, if I do that... I'm gonna be reunited with Orb friend! Orb friend! Come here! 
It wasn't about me getting down there. It was about getting Orb Friend back up here. Oh, silly me. Oh, that was mm, delicious. That was, oh, satisfying. Now, Orb Friend, it's time for us to um, do the next bit. Old friend, I'll be honest. I don't know where we're going. But I... Th oh, it's this way. Of course, because we need second old friend. Go on, old friend. You can do it with this old now. Oh, wait, you did it with that old before. Oh, well. It's fine. Old friend. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then other orb friend. Up orb friends. And then... Dana! Wow, it's like a chameleon! Null and Void says that was not a nice sound. The one I made or the other one? I'm sorry. Ugh, me no. Putain. Ooh. bit yonic that in it anyway right <laughs> okay um unfortunately friends i would love to play another hour of this but uh that uh has to has to be it for the first stream of 2024 um i hope you enjoyed it goodness me it was eventful i'm sorry that uh delta v didn't work out um i'm gonna have a bash at that by myself to <laughs> i'm gonna play that game myself uh to try and get better acquainted with the controls and then maybe we'll try again we'll see let's let's find out um but cocoon what a game absolutely tremendous um i will be back on saturday with new episodes of press any Kiadini, and then i'll be back on monday uh with a painting stream and uh then we'll just you know we're gonna we're gonna kick the dick of 2024. That's what we're gonna do. In the meantime, um, my boss uh, at the um, the tap room where I work is sadly leaving, so um, it's her leaving due. So I'm gonna go raise a glass to her and say, um, "Bon voyage." Uh, so yeah, I'll be back on Saturday. I will see you then. Uh, in the meantime, I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in the description of this video and I believe one in chat. Um, if you can and are willing to support me directly through there, then it is really greatly appreciated. But also, thank you so much for supporting me by just being here on YouTube and watching and chatting and super chatting and generally being cool. Um, oh, I'll leave a like on, on the way out if you want. It's good for the algorithm, that unknowable beast that runs my life to a degree. Um... Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and indeed a brilliant 2024. So yeah, take care of yourself uh, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Well, we didn't play that game at all. Well, we did, but like 20 minutes. Anyway, bye.